Hello, in this lesson we are going to cover SCP, which is Secure Copy Protocol. Now the Secure Copy Protocol, or SCP, helps to transfer computer files securely from a local host to a remote host. It is somewhat similar to FTP, but it adds security and authentication. So if you are transferring a file again from server A to server B, you could use SCP as the protocol or the command rather than FTP and the reason it is preferred is because it is secure it adds more security and authentication now the protocol as I said before the protocol is a set of rules used by computers to communicate so when the SCP was built they decided okay this is the protocol that SCP should use and this is the port that should be used to transfer a file from one server to another the default SCP port is SSH or port 22 so there is no different protocol that was established or set up for SCP so it actually leverages on to the same SSH protocol that we use to connect from one server to another over SSH now for this lecture again we needed two Linux machines one is for the client and one is for the server the client is where we have the file and the server is where we want to transfer that file to for the client I have my Linux machine and it is called my first Linux VM for the server I have a server which is exactly the same as client as well but I named it Linux CentOS 7 so the process is the SCP uh, the per, uh, the process in the graphical way is that you have a client A and client B server now client A wants to copy a file over to server B now it will use the protocol SCP or the command SCP but it actually transferred that over through the protocol we already have in place and that is SSH so there is no new protocol for that it actually piggyback on SSH and of course the SSH port is 22 and the service for SSH daemon should be running on the recipient or the remote server in order to accept in incoming um, incoming traffic okay what's the process the SCP command to transfer files to the remote server first of all you have to log in yourself then create a file any file let's say we in this uh, in this lesson or in this lab we'll create a file called Jack once the Jack file is created then we will simply run the command SCP the file name Jack Ivzol is the username that actually exists on the remote server at 192.168.1.x is the, ac the ap actual IP of the remote server of course replace that X with the digit that is the digit of your remote server and the last part is colon slash home slash IFSL this is where you want the file to go to in this directory on the remote server once it's connected then it's going to ask you to enter username and password and it will transfer the file successfully now enough is enough let's actually start our Linux machine um, which I have already started and I have already logged in through my putty this is my Linux machine and I refer to it as my client machine because this is the one that connects to the server and this machine host name is my first Linux VM who is logged in who am I I'm logged in as myself if I follow the directions here I'm gonna create a file called Jack in my home directory in my home directory slash home slash I have solved I'll go ahead and do touch Jack and I do LS minus LTR you will see I have a file called Jack it has zero bytes now I wanted to transfer that but before I transfer let's put something in there just to make sure it is transferred with the right content so let's do VI on Jack and just put um, Jack is Jerry's 
uncle. That's it. Do LS minus LTR. Now you see it has total bytes 22. Perfect. Now we need to transfer this file to our remote server. But before we transfer that file to the remote server, we wanted to know what is the IP address of that remote server. So I'm going to go into my remote server, which I also have it open. And I'm going to do if config ENP0S3 because that's the interface where the IP is assigned. And the IP is 192.168.1.58 beautiful let's go back to my client and now this time I'm going to run the command let's clear the screen so you could see it better now run the command SCP the name of the file which is Jack the name of the user who is going to log in to the remote server what is a remote server 192.168.1.58 yes and then colon slash where is it going to or which directory it's going to home ISO hit enter and it's gonna ask you for the password if you are doing SCP for the first time then it's gonna ask you for the fingerprints where you have to type in yes and then enter the password so go ahead and enter password and it says a jack which is a file name 100% transferred and the size was 22 and this is the time it took to transfer okay I got this message on the client but let's confirm on the server whether it was transferred or not so first of all it was transferred as I have Zoll. so I have to log in as I have Zoll. so who am I I am I have Zoll. beautiful now which directory am I logged into I am in my home directory because that's where I transferred the file right now I will do ls minus ltr to check if that jack file came in it did perfect now is this the right file that came in let's cat it we did the cat jack is Jerry's uncle perfect this is how the SCP works and you could also do the same thing by the way SCP to go into this remote server if you want to pull something out of that server from server to the client and you have just have to reverse the command anyway try it out and these are the couple of uh, commands a few commands that I wanted to cover and very important commands when you are dealing with transferring files from one server to another